हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सतीश परियानी वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल वॉलचर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन दिस सेशन वी आर एबल टू डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक मेथड स्टडी एंड एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द टर्म मेथड स्टडी इन डेप्थ एंड द कंटेंट्स ऑफ टूडे सेशन आर वॉट इज मेथड स्टडी वॉट आर द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ मेथड स्टडी एंड वॉट इज मेथड स्टडी प्रोसीजर First, what is method study? Method study can be defined as the procedure for systematic recording, analysis, and critical examination of existing or proposed methods of doing work for the purpose of development and application of easier and more effective method. So, the method study comprises here. We can see. as the systematic recording means recording of events systematic recording second analysis of that events and then critical examination of existing or proposed methods means the critical examination of existing methods in the case of a plant is continuous running plant or if we are able to set the new plant then in case that case is called proposed methods means critical examination of existing or proposed method of doing work for the purpose of development and application of easier and more effective method what are the objectives of method study the first foremost objective of the method study is improving the process and procedure method study aims to have a less fatigue life for operator so the process needs to be improved or procedure has to be improved of doing the way things are being done the second important objective is to improve the plant layout many times due to the improper plant layout the efficiency of whole system is been reduce or the there is a less productivity observed due to poor plant layout there is more man movement there is more material movement this and any unnecessary movement cost money which finally leads to less productivity or fatigue to the operator then the third important is improvement in case of man machine and material usage suppose many times we see in organization a person is running from here and there a which person is running why he is running why machines are being how machines are being utilized and materials are being utilized so there is in after method study we are able to have the improvement in their usage how man's efficiency or man man hours are been used machine hours are been utilized and material is properly utilized improvement in design objectives of method study <coughs> improving the process and procedure the basic objective of method study is to improve the process and procedure the way things are being done done so this will the way things are being done is are being challenged are being challenged to improve the process and which finally leads to the less fatigue of operator and finally improvement in productivity improvement in the plant layout this is one of the most important objective of method study a poor plant layout will decrease the efficiency of overall system not only the system of man material is been wasted keeping from here to there and machines are been not utilized so finally leads to poor productivity improvement in usage of man machine and material now you see the linkage also there is a linkage between second point and third point if the prop there is no proper plant layout means the first let us say the usage of man in layout is not proper then usage of man is also not proper 
reason being that man power is been running from here and there along if he has to move from one place to another it has requires more time second similarly the machine will remain improvement in plant layout improvement in usage of man machine and material now we see the linkage between the second point and the third point if the layout is not proper the usage of man machine and material will be not proper let us take the example of man if man if the layout is not proper person will be running or worker will be running from one place to another keeping the unnecessary time losing the time with the organization required to improve his productivity second machines will be remaining idle if the machine has to, if the material is kept at some different location as it requires a longer time and layout is improper and material is been also wasted because keeping the material from one place to another place and moving the damages the materials many times so the one this is one of the important objective to improve the plant layout and hence the usage of man material and machine it also many times helps to improvement in the design of plant and equipment after the method study many times it will be observed that the whole plant or equipment or whole plants need to be challenged or improved and similarly equipment which needs which is the capacity of that equipment if not sufficient needs to be replaced or some system has to be incorporated in that equipment so that that system has to be improved improvement in the flow of production and process finally the flow of production and process will improve with the help of method study economy in human effort to reduce unnecessary fatigue of operator method study as we know requires will help us to do the desired way of doing thing the way we do the thing to so finally this is the some scientific methods are been applied so there is economy in human efforts human efforts are not wasted human efforts are utilized to do the productive way work rather than to have the unnecessary fatigue of the operator and finally many times there are small small parts which can be standardized even the big parts can be standardized so method study helps to find out that parts of which parts can be standardized which parts can be reduced in batches where we can apply these techniques so st and standardization as we know is very important to reduce overall effect of overall it helps to overall improvement of the system improving the working conditions and safety standards is also one of the major objective of method study now we'll come to the what is the method study procedure the for these are some of the following steps which helps to make a method study first select job for method study now selection job does not mean we have to select any job which for method study it the job is selected on basis of requirement of the organization which to be improved generally in organization three different criteria are been observed the job which is having the maximum sale is targeted first for improvement or the job which is giving the maximum quality rejections or quality issues is been targeted third the job which is resulting into the frequent breakdown of machines is having taken for the study again also it depends which job to be taken it has to be taken in consequences of overall system improvement rather than individual local improvement then the second point is record information oblique event in recording 
we have to record the information or event of that process or that job in very precise manner generally the big question comes a data challenging the data we have to challenge again and again how the data is taken who has taken the data or somebody has just filled the data for the sake of filling or some exact information has been recorded so the data needs to be checked by work study men in a very precise manner and many times needs to confirm before that data is utilized for further analysis so this record can be done with the help of direct recording or direct observations or some informative way of taking data from previous the third step is examining the information critically the what the job has been taken the record what we have recorded the information or data is taken that has to be information has to be examined very critically finally the fourth step is to develop the most practical economical and effective method by considering real limitation of that situation it is not a theoretical way considering that situation where proper we have to develop the most practical economic and effective method then finally we have to define the new or improved methods of way of doing it then install the new method as a standard practice in this we have to remember that many times the person who is doing the jobs for the years or decades are being challenged so that there is a practice that they can go again back to the original state of doing the job so there is some certain systems has to be foolproof or certain systems has to be it so that we can cross check between new method and old method of doing the job and finally we have to maintain the standard practice by regular follow up we have to refer nptn notes and introduction to work study by ilo book thank you